in our last tutorial we uh, we learned how to create flows and uh, we're able to understand the usefulness of uh, line work so I would like to finish up with the tutorial on the flow by showing you some other things that uh, your flow would require mm -hmm. to be in its desired place so uh as you can see i've created another floor here on the lowest level which is the level one ground zero let's go to the elevation to see it better okay this is it so when we created uh, this floor it was actually on the uh, zero as the offset level which is this when you create the flow so what we actually have to do is just to click on the flow and then come here and put the flow at its desired height which is 150 above the natural ground level so to create the next flow all you need to do is just to copy this flow above the first one come to edit boundary it brings the dialog box for you then you go to the level one and uh, open the view then you edit it according to the shape of the next flow so you come to your align to click on the line you want the flow to align with then click on the line you want to align then you finish up your model come to your 3d and you see it very well so the same thing applies for the next flow open up again go to your elevation copy the floor and then you go to your level one edit boundary then you cut according to the shape of the floor you want to draw and you finish up come to your 3d you see the floor there and we are good to go with the floors so tonight we would uh learn how to create our ceilings like i discussed earlier from the beginning of this uh, project i told you every level has its own ceiling height level one has its own ceiling height level two has its ceiling height three has its ceiling height and four as high as any floors that you are going to meaning that at every level there is a ceiling level at every level there is a ceiling level so how do we now go about drawing the level the ceiling sorry before you before you draw this the ceiling you have to go to the uh, ceiling level of ceiling uh, plan of this level that you are drawing on meaning that if you come to this level you are actually drawing on the <coughs> plane of that level but if you come here on the ceiling plan you are drawing on the plane of the on, on the higher parts of that level meaning once you want to draw on the ceiling plan of level one it means that on the higher part of a uh, level one you are drawing on the higher part of level two you are drawing let's go ahead and draw as you can see all we can see now is just our windows what happened what it means what it means is that uh we are meant to introduce the drawing that we imported on level one how do we get the drawing back you come here to your underlay as this is our underlay you can see range range base level none once you click on the arrow here and you click on base on on the base level to be level one what happens is that when you click on the apply it brings out your level one as you can see so all we need to do now is just click on our level one for the ceiling plan come here click on our ceiling you can see automatic ceiling sketch ceiling let me show you the difference between the two when you click on this this is the automatic ceiling and you click on it so guys we've uh done the first ceiling it's might not be visible on this level but when we go to uh, one of the views that can show the ceiling we will actually see where the ceiling has dropped so the reason why uh, it's 
uh, it makes more sense to use the automatic sealing is because the walls that the ceilings will be attached to have already been uh, uh, modeled the walls are already existing so all you need to do is just to make sure that all the walls are closed whenever you want to create an automatic ceiling so all you need to do is just to take your mouse move it into the center of the space you want to create the ceiling into so we've done this we have to come to this place and then we click the next one 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 we click and then we are good to go as you can see i can't create a ceiling here you can see the mouse because the wall is not completed if the walls were to be completed it will be easy for me to create another ceiling here so how do i go about it when sometimes the walls are not complete and i still want to have a ceiling plan there what do we do we go to our sketch ceiling this is very flexible it's easy to use you can easily draw a ceiling anywhere you want to drop it without the help of the walls so i want to create my ceiling here also i put it here 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 and and that is it so i click finish ceiling so all the ceilings are in place now let's go to 3d to see what we have done as you can see these are our ceilings but they are not at the levels that we actually want them to be so let's go back to our level one and see it properly from the uh from the section aspect let's click on this section or you can come here to section one but most of the time i prefer to click on the section right click and go to view so this takes me there very easily as you can see this is where the ceiling is dropped because we used the ceiling for level one if we had used level two it might be higher than this so let's do something click on one of the ceilings right click select all instances in the entire project this helps you to select all the ceilings together let's change the uh, level to level two and then finish as you can see it has come up a little bit but because our wall height is three meters and we want it to go higher a little bit what do we do we come to this height offset from level and increase it to the level we want to put it i would prefer to put it at 2850 click on that and then you apply it goes to the desired height so finish it come to your 3d you see your ceiling at a uh, expected height so we are here to finish the ceiling what do we do we come to our level two and then our sorry our ceiling level two sorry so we click on as you can see these are the uh these are the patterns for the ceiling the default pattern for the ceiling you can change the pattern as you see fit so let's click on the ceiling once again and then click on the automatic and then finish up with this so what do we do next let's go to let's move our section so that we can see this section better go to view again click on this move it to 2850 apply and that is it so in the next video we'll move on to creating our roof thank you very much